All right, guys. So in this video, we are going to be comparing Adobe Premiere's hardware encoding of H.264 against my DaVinci Resolve 16.2. Now, DaVinci Resolve has had hardware acceleration encoding for around two to three years now, but it's better late than never with Adobe. So today they released their version of hardware encoding using NVIDIA cards and AMD cards. So what we're doing is comparing the new Adobe Premiere hardware accelerated export to my DaVinci Resolve 16.2 export. So we are here in Premiere and this is actually the new software now that we're looking at. Uh, the timeline is a 4K DCI. This is our test here. This is a Blackmagic Cinema camera, 4K Cinema DNG at 4K DCI. So the colors are gonna look really weird, but you can ignore that. Uh, we have four minutes and six seconds of clip, and this exact same clip I'm gonna render in DaVinci Resolve for comparison. Now, I did render this same exact clip in the previous Adobe Premiere, and that took 13 minutes but it was a two pass VBR. So let's go ahead and go to file, export media. Now I said two pass VBR because hardware encoding actually works in single pass VBR. So that 13 minutes compared to what we're about to do right now is actually not a good comparison because if I click hardware encoding, I can only select VBR one pass. If I go to two pass, you're gonna see that is going to switch to software encoding. Now I am using a GTX 1080 Ti, which is two years old, maybe three, I think. Yeah, it has to be three because it came out when my daughter was born. So let's go ahead and go to hardware encoding. Oh, okay. So it's telling me no. So what I'm going to do is switch it over to one pass and we're going to go to hardware encoding. Okay. 4k DCI 24 P hardware encoding use maximum render, we're gonna do 27 um, megabits per second, and then keyframe 12, we're gonna go to audio 44, 128. Now this is my usual YouTube export as you will, and this is not a tutorial obviously, I'm just trying to see how much faster this new Adobe Premiere is compared to the DaVinci Resolve 16. Uh, I do use DaVinci Resolve 95% of my exports, but when I am exporting with effects, when I use After Effects, I have to use Adobe Media Encoder. So uh, that being said, let's go ahead and start this. I'm gonna go ahead and rename this, and I'm gonna go to Desktop, Renders, here's Resolve, the old Resolve, this is gonna be New, MP4, Save, and then we're gonna click Export. I'm not gonna export it to Media Encoder, I'm gonna export it straight from here. So here we go. All right guys, so it looks like it's gonna take around nine minutes and 13 seconds, give or take, to get this render to finish. So what I'm gonna do is just pause this video so you don't have to sit here forever. Okay, so the render just finished and it was around nine minutes, four seconds, give or take. So now what we're gonna do is hop over to DaVinci Resolve and render the same exact file with DaVinci Resolve 16 using NVIDIA encoder. All right guys, so we are here now in DaVinci Resolve 16 to see how the DaVinci Resolve uh, will compete against the new hardware encoding of the Adobe Premiere. So we have the same clip here and it was a four minute and six seconds clip. So let's go ahead and shrink this down to four minutes and six seconds. And it was 0 0.1, 406.1, right there. All right, so that's the same exact clip. This is 4K DCI. Let's go ahead and go to export. And then we're gonna try and see if we can copy the same settings. MP4, NVIDIA, we'll do best, do VBR. So keep looking here, square is okay. I'm gonna leave this on. Um, see here. The thing that we have to change here is this. I did 27,000. 
that should be even to 27 what we did in um, Adobe Premiere so 128 okay video and we're gonna do this as DaVinci Resolve okay boom 27,000 KB per second it's 24 is okay and before okay it's double checking everything add to render queue and let's go ahead and start render now what the Vinci resolve needs to beat is nine minutes okay guys so as you can see the the Vinci resolve 16 finished in a minute and 35 now let's go ahead and go back to my desktop. All right guys, so taking a look at our renders here, this is the Resolve render that took a minute 35 to render. Uh, this is the old Premiere export, but this right here took 13 minutes, but I did choose uh, to pass VBR. And this is the new firmware, or this is the new Adobe Premiere H.264 hardware encoded. Uh, this is one. Uh, this is only one pass VBR and it took around nine minutes. So that's pretty much it. Uh, rendering the same clip in the old version, new version of Premiere against the DaVinci Resolve 16 hardware NVIDIA encoding. I hope you guys learned something new today. If you guys have any questions, let me know and I will see you guys later.